So we're going to cover Peugeot and what became of their engines which were actually used quite extensively as rebranded customer engines. Um, what started as a venture into F1 in 94. <clears throat> in 94, McLaren had official engines provided by Peugeot uh, before they went to Mercedes. These engines were not reliable and after a terrible 94 season, because McLaren are a powerful team, uh, they switched to Mercedes-Benz uh, from 95 onward. Of course, McLaren um, won the championship twice um, with uh, Mika Hakkinen in the late 90s using a McLaren Mercedes. So the Peugeot engines actually didn't disappear, they just filtered down to smaller teams and this led to Peugeot supplying Jordan Grand Prix in 95, 96 and 97 with five podiums as best results. Peugeot's best chance of victory during this time came from the 95 Canadian Grand Prix when both Eddie Irvine and Rubens Barrichello finished second and third on the podium respectively. Political pressures from France, however, meant Peugeot switched their allegiance to the Pros Grand Prix team for the 98, 99 and 2000 seasons for an attempt at becoming an all-French powerhouse, and thus Prost earned Peugeot's direct factory support. It was established just a few days before the partnership was made official that Peugeot had changed the terms of their agreement with Prost, meaning they had to pay Peugeot for the engines over a period of three seasons rather than receiving them for free over a period of five seasons. This left Pross with little to no choice but to agree to the new terms as it would have left them with little to no time to find a new engine supplier or returning to Mugen Honda, which was not possible as they had already reached an agreement to supply Jordan. So once again, uh, the Peugeot uh, engines uh, were replaced and once again the Mugen Honda in this case with Jordan anyone that knows F1 knows that Jordan's most successful period came with this engine Prost unfortunately probably didn't um, do too well in that deal so the relationship with Prost started out badly uh, in 98 a measly one point was scored over the entire season in Belgium courtesy of Jarno Trulli which was stark contrast to 33 points Peugeot had scored with Jordan in 97. So that was probably the Peugeot S season. 99 was only a slight improvement with 9 points scored through a fight, though a final podium was achieved for Peugeot at the 99 European Grand Prix courtesy of Trulli finishing second. However, after a pointless 2000 season where poor reliability matched with Prost's inability to deliver a competitive chassis, combined with having scored no wins, so important also, as well as the engine, um, this obviously wasn't a great engine, <coughs> I, I know Peugeot have had a lot more success at rallying than they have at F1, um, but you never know, they might try it again, but uh, this was not really a successful venture for the Mark, and um, in addition, the Prost chassis was, was poor, and it, it actually resulted in Prost pulling out the plug of F1 after 115 Grand Prix trenches with just 14 podiums scored. So it's like what could have been, you know, if Prost had actually kept a Mugen Honda deal, they likely would have turned into a good, maybe possibly a solid midfield team, maybe even higher than that. <coughs> However, um, Prost actually, in their final uh, season before um, pulling out of F1 uh, in 2001, um, they actually uh, got a deal with Ferrari to use old Ferrari engines that they rebranded as uh, Acer after the computer company Acer, which was their title sponsor. Um, and they actually did pretty well, although the car's chassis was, was still pretty bad. The engine was a lot better, and I know that Sauber did something similar around the same time. 
I think Raikkonen at Sauber had something similar under him, and they're basically an old Ferrari engine that had been rebadged. And they proved to be pretty good engines, so unfortunately too little too late for them. However, this wasn't the end of these pretty bad engines. <laughs> um, they were actually used by back marker teams as a uh, like a fallback when uh, good engines are expensive or scarce for these teams. So the the engines were bought by an Asian consortium by former F1 designer Enrique Scalabroni called AsiaTech and used for f two further years in 2001 for Arrows and in 2002 for Minardi. The former named Peugeot engine's best result during this time was at the 2002 Australian Grand Prix when Mark Webber managed an incredible fifth place on his debut. This unexpected success meant the team were allowed an exception to celebrate on the podium step. The Ozitech engines were both reliable, powerful and were supplied at zero cost, but its poor drivability led to both teams replacing them in favour of more costly but more capable Cosworth units, and hopefully we will cover Cosworth soon, because that's another interesting custom engine, and definitely better than the Asia Tech. although it's interesting to note that the Asia Tech engines were actually reliable when the uh, first versions as the Peugeots in the mid-90s, uh, the problem was that they were unreliable, so I guess the development of the engines and a bit of luck got them one or two reasonable results before they uh, were retired finally. Um, so that's the Peugeot and becoming the AsiaTech customer engines. Uh, I certainly remember AsiaTech having a strong partnership for Arrows, although it only lasted one season. Anyway, um, I think that covers that. So hopefully we'll do another one, uh, maybe get around to doing Cosworth soon. Cheers, guys. Tura.